Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, I'm Ani Jolene, and I'm back with another video for you guys. So I wanna say hello to all of my old subscribers. Thank you guys for continuing to support me on my YouTube journey. And I wanna say hello to all of my new subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe and also like this video if you like it. But really quickly, I've been really trying to like experiment with my channel as far as putting up new content, different type of content to see if you guys like it. So if you guys do like the new content that I am starting to post, definitely make sure you leave a comment below thumbs up this video just so i can have an idea of what type of content to put on this channel moving forward but as you can see from the title of this video this video is going to be a get ready with me so i'm going to go ahead and do my makeup on camera and talk to you guys and let you guys know exactly what's going on uh so pretty much the first thing that i'm going to do and this is my mirror because I cannot find my big mirror. I don't know where, I have literally no idea where it is. I'm gonna just use the mirror that's attached to this um, like glow kit from Anastasia. And we gonna keep it moving with this. And pretty much today, we're just gonna really do like a soft little look. Your girl has been going crazy with TikToks and Instagram reels lately. So I wanna go ahead and make sure I look cute for my regals. So if you guys can literally take one tip, it's people can watch, pretty much watch your content if you're easy on the eyes. So as long as you look put together, a lot of people will typically tune in for a longer period of time just based off how you look. That was a statistic that I recently discovered. So I wanna make sure now that like when I'm filming my videos and content and all that good stuff that I look put together. Now within this video, there's a few topics that I heavily want to touch bases on. And that's pretty much a me closing my hair company, a surgery talk about my BBL, tummy tuck, recovering, things like that. And then the next thing that I really want to touch bases on is uh, my new business venture. So as you guys know, I've had a hair company since 2017 and it's been a roller coaster. I've had great years. I've had terrible years and this is me just being super transparent with you guys so something that pretty much really hurt my hair company business was when COVID hit when COVID hit a lot of shit went downhill for my hair company and at the time I was just like I'm done it's over with don't want it anymore throw the whole business away I look crazy right now but bear with me so pretty much at the time I was just playing things by ear seeing exactly what was going to happen with the hair company so i never essentially closed it but i was on the breaking point because i was having a hard time getting orders i was having a hard time getting access to products because that's when it was like a shortage of hair and lace and all that crazy stuff so i was like this is obviously my end but you know i stuck through it things like that things eventually got better when covid died down a little bit even though it's very much so still a serious matter things did get better so i left it open i left my hair company open just to see what it was going to do i wasn't actively promoting it if you guys watch my videos you guys know i've never actively promoting my hair company and it's been a while since i've actually promoted my hair company but it's because i was in a toggle between if i wanted it or didn't want it or wanted it or didn't want it but more of the story is vendors were pissing me off i wasn't getting crazy orders when covid hit my business took a decrease when covid hit but eventually i did come to realization that i enjoy hair i enjoy being pretty i enjoy making my customers super happy and for those in the background that don't get what i'm saying my hair company is still here it's not closed it's not going to close but i am going to do some revamping i'm going to get different packaging i'm going to pretty much do a whole rebrand for allure 96 um and if you guys want me to make videos on how I'm going to rebrand it, package it, all that good stuff, where I get my packaging from, how I package, all that stuff, let me know in the comment section and I will make videos pertaining to the actual rebrand process of my business. But literally in the mix of figuring out what I was going to do with my business, with my hair company, that's when I started pushing forward my mentor coaching business, which of course, if you guys don't know, I am also a business strategist. So I help uh, small business owners out there create their dream business by strategic strategies and or solutions if you want to call it um, to help them in whichever struggle that they're having with within their business currently so i do have digital downloads i was putting out digital downloads creating different content that's how i was still getting my um creating an additional stream of income for myself 
So if you are out there and you do need help um, with a lot of different things that can happen within business or a lot of different hurdles that you can be experiencing through your entrepreneurship journey, definitely make sure you click the link in the description box. And I have tons of goodies in there from free to paid, all that good stuff. And back here is also one of my latest launches. And that's my Plans of a Trapaholic Planner. And it's a planner for 2022. And it helps specifically business owners and social media influence as far as tracking all of their analytics, uh, tracking all of their meetings, events, big projects that they pretty much need to get get done within a year span everything's laid out with brain dumps and also vision boards for 2022 I actually sold quite a few of them I wasn't expecting to sell as many as I did sell so shout out to everyone who did make a purchase I hope you guys like it make sure if you did purchase it you uh, send me in some type of review just to let me know exactly how you like it and if you would change anything moving forward regarding uh, the 2023 edition planners that I'll eventually be dropping at the end of this year so I already did my foundation, that's why I look orange. <laughs> but I'm finna fix it all together with my uh, concealer. And I always like to use like a darker foundation uh, because then once I put on my concealer, it makes it look like my um, skin has like a natural contour, so I don't have to contour. Uh, and if you guys hear my son, he's in the background being a toddler. This is the life of a business owner and mom. But really what I really want to talk to you guys about for a second is life after surgery and pretty much how different people treat you after surgery along with some other things. Uh, so something that I've noticed is like once you get your body done, people treat you significantly different. Now it can either be on in a positive note or it can be on a like, she got her body done. Or it could be like, a, oh my gosh, she got her body done. And that's something that I've noticed. Uh, like for for instance, I've I've always felt like I've been a pretty a pretty girl, and people that's never asked to do certain things with me all of a sudden is is very interested in doing certain things. Like, like for instance, uh, if I'm at an outing or an event, more people would ask me to take pictures with them more people currently check in with me to see how i'm doing male and female more people honestly just seems more intrigued with me but for me how i look at that at first i was like oh my gosh that's that's, that's good more people I'm, I'm being noticed more but then now when you know now that the body has actually set in and things like that it's like mm -mm. Yeah. i remember how you used to treat me or I remember how you did this or flashbacks would just pop up and remind me of the true characteristics of certain individuals. In my opinion, it's made my guard go up a little more now versus in the beginning. It was new for me, so I was excited about it. But now since it's pretty much set in, it's almost like four months now. It's been four months. So now it's more so of like, eh -eh, get back type of thing. Uh, and something else I wanted to get into regarding like surgery is Fajas. A lot of people have been asking me what type of Fajas do I recommend or wear or anything like that. So I think I'm going to make a full video dedicated to kind of like compression shapewear Fajas for my fellow dolls out there who are interested in getting uh, specific procedures done. So if you guys do want that, let me know in the comment section and I will go ahead and get that video up loaded i've spent so much money on fajas and shapewear um it's ridiculous so i'd rather tell you guys what worked for me versus you guys get the surgery and then have to blow a thousand bucks just on fajas alone because literally you need new fajas so frequently i want to say i brought about four faja four fajas a waist trainer more compression stuff and then also like a thong compression so that when i don't don't want to wear my faja i put that on because because realistically i'm four months out but i still swell like a monster i kid you not and for those in the back who have the question of when did i actually stop wearing the faja or if i'm still wearing one uh, so I do still put on a Faja occasionally. It's definitely not how I was wearing it in the beginning. Um, 
Currently, I wear my Faja or some type of compression at least 8 to 12 hours out of the day because, like I said, I do still swell. But since I have been, like, decreasing the amount of time that I have on a Faja, a Faja or compression is getting extremely uncomfortable for me. So I really only put it on when necessary because I'm trying to, like, wean my body off of it because I did recently learn that if you overly wear compression that your body can pretty much become dependent on it so you would swell twice as more than someone who wean their body off of a faja pretty much um and i slowed down on my faja around the two and a half month mark but like i said i do still wear them so don't twist my words because your girl is still wearing her compression but not nearly as much because I was wearing it 24-7, literally. I was literally just taking it off to wash it or um, to shower. And I was putting it right back on. Uh, so pretty much I recommend start prepping for your surgery at least 45 days in advance. Now, depending on which surgery center you're going through, they do re request like different time frames as far as getting your labs and stuff sent in uh, but I would say before you get your final labs put in do like a test run at least 30 days before your initial labs are due just so you can figure out exactly what you need to work on as far as like if you need to take more vitamin supplements or if you need to get your hemoglobin um, numbers up now when I got mine my labs for the most part, I knew that I was pretty healthy. I go get checkups normally um, and I really listen to my body as far as like if I'm dehydrated or if I'm just not feeling well, I will take my behind to the doctors. The only thing that was a little off when I had my uh, labs taken was my chloride was a little bit off and it was something else, but I can't remember. But pretty much um, it was more so a dehydration thing. Um, so they just recommended that before I came in that I drank as much water, got as much fluid in me as possible, and I was good to go. So pretty much I just powdered my face. I concealed it, put foundation on and did my eyebrows. I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. And really quickly, you guys, I've been doing this like experiment on Instagram. And it's pretty much of me posting reels. And if you guys don't know what reels are, reels are uh, basically like TikToks kind of. But you post them to your Instagram. And I've been doing like a little, a little experiment and posting reels every single day, multiple times a day. Seeing exactly what it does to my account because I had took probably like a year and a half off of Instagram when COVID hit and my business was tanking and all that stuff. Um, so I'm actually just now really getting back into Instagram and learning their algorithm. And and one thing I can say so far, I am seeing a, a significant difference in my engagement, my um, audience reach and all that good stuff. Even my following is increasing. Um, now, I'm going to do this for at least two weeks to a month and document everything and then i'll have a video to show you guys what i recommend when posting reels or trying to increase your following engagement reach all that good stuff on instagram pretty much it's like a little update as far as what's going on currently i'm in the process of really pushing my planner so continuing to, to sell more planners i also am in the process of creating a workbook for all of my uh, girls out there who um, sell hair and all, pretty much for the rest of today I'll be making reels so make sure that you watch my reels because they're amazing tips and tricks um, that you can use for your business um, I, that's all I post is more so business reels so things that'll actually benefit you all uh, so a lot of people have actually been reaching out to me via my DMs on Instagram because it's easier responding to DMs than it is emails right away. I only check my emails about twice a day. So uh, it could take at least 24 hours to get a response back via email versus with Instagram. I'm on Instagram pretty frequently. Uh, now I don't want this video to be super long. I'm a busy girl and I know there y'all are busy girls too. So I care about y'all time. So we we're literally just about to slap some gloss on. I'm probably just going to do my eye lashes off camera. 
So hold on one second and I'm going to show y'all the final look once I put my lashes on. So pretty much this is me after I added some lip gloss, some highlighter, and then I added my lashes. And this is pretty much the final look. Um, thank you guys for sitting through this video. If you did sit all the way through this video, put a pink heart in the comment section and I will send you something special, okay? Um, but other than that, I love you guys. I'm about to go on Instagram, make some uh, business reels really quickly. So I will meet you guys on Instagram. Other than that, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe if you do like my content.